So this is Wednesday and um, it's bedtime right now so I wanted to show you guys how I moisturize my hair I hope you enjoyed the clips in the beginning those clips were to show you how I moisturize my hair while I apply oil on my scalp and while I do not apply oil on my scalp while I have the kinky twist the protective style in my hair I'm not gonna keep you long I'm trying to you know minimize what I have to say because um, I don't want to reiterate myself a lot but I just want to come on here and talk to you and exactly of what I was doing um, and you know why I was doing it and what I use and things of that nature so we're gonna get into it and hopefully it will not be too long if so please get your snacks now and then come back okay so first off we're gonna start out with the oil that I use in my hair the oil that I use is by um, Natural 85 Hair and Body Oil. Um, you could definitely, if you're not, I'm sorry, if you're not familiar with Natural 85, she's a well-known YouTuber on here, and she has she has done a video on her oil, hair and body oil that she has made with a lot of nice ingredients in here. And one of the ingredients I'm going to talk about is the castor oil. And the castor oil, I am, you know, telling you about the castor oil because I am in a castor oil challenge, Brandy's castor oil challenge. So. So that is why I'm saying that castor oil is in here but there are a whole array of other ingredients in here so if you definitely want to see what other ingredients are in here definitely go check our video out and I will link the video in the description right below so you guys can go and make your own okay so I applied this oil on my hair so first thing I did was spray this OBI natural hair care curl hydration spray in my hair okay shook it up spray it into my hair and that's what I did I alternate using this and other um, sprays which is lemongrass amazing botanicals you know be and things of that nature but I pick up whatever I want to pick up and you know what I choose to or what I think is great for my hair that day it depends it's just it's just on a oh, okay I'm gonna use this you know it's, it's no big thing this whatever um so i just pick it up and um but this is what i use in the video that's why i have it in my hand i spray my hair first so i do kind of like a bootleg lco method if you will um i call it a bootleg lco method because i take out the c and it's just left with l and o liquid and oil because i don't want to put that much you know products on my hair because i am not washing my hair every week like i do when i have my hair out so since my hair is a protective style i do not wash my hair every week so the next time i'll be washing my hair will be in the next two or three weeks so in the meantime you know i do i am putting these products on my hair and of course there is going to be some type of buildup but i don't want to put that many products on it that does not need to be there so the cream can be x out because it does not need to be there and i will let you know why because i have something else here 
but anyway while I do this you know type with the oil all I need to do is just spray and then seal it in with the oil on my scalp rub it in you know massage it for three to six minutes and I'm done that's what I do at night okay in the morning time I wake up and I spray some type of spray on my hair it doesn't ooh, <laughs> it doesn't matter what spray I spray in my hair sometimes I don't do it you know I, I'm rushing or sometimes I feel as though I don't need it it depends on my scalp or my hair or what I feel as though it needs to be on my head my my scalp does not flake my scalp excuse me my scalp does not you know um get a lot of danger for anything like that I, my scalp does behave very well and i really appreciate my scalp for doing that but um I just want to make sure that my hair is well moisturized because I don't want that day when I take my king twist out and I'm like, oh my god, I come to you guys like my hair, it broke off right here and I don't have this moisturizer, I, I didn't have this and then, you know, and I'm like, it was my fault because I wasn't following up with the moisturization. So I just want to make sure that my hair is moisturized and you guys are probably like, well, it's not a lot of moisture, moisturization, you know, you're moisturizing your hair every day. I don't think so because you have added hair to your hair and that added hair is probably taking, a, taking away the moisture even faster because it's hair that's binded not binded but like kind of intertwined with your hair so your hair is probably like what's going on here so you don't know what that your hair strands are doing so it's better to be safe than sorry so I don't think I'm over moisturizing my hair and I don't think my hair is getting that much build up or anything like that I feel as though that my hair is getting the correct moisturization or what have you it just de solely de solely depends on the person the individual and their hair but this is what I do to my hair so that's it so anyway um back to the matter at hand um so that's out the way so these are the two well what a refresher what have you and the oil this is what I do on my oil nights okay so that's what I do all right so that's basically it. and I do alternate between my oils I don't only use this oil I use allocate naturals hair growth oil and um, I use that oil on my nape and my um, edges area and I use this little one because it's easier to um, apply on my nape and my edges because um this comes out too much so this is better to apply and um, that's basically about that if you want to know more depth into the oils and why I use certain oils in my hair you can definitely click here and you can definitely see why I use these oils and how I use these oils and I will definitely be in more depth why you know why they're in my regimen as of right now um someone asked me how to use an oil I mean well, um how did I use one of the oils in my video and I didn't refer them to that video so if you're watching please go check that video out and I'll definitely um let you know how I use it but I even though I answer in the comments I want you to get a little bit of a visual as well so I apologize that I did not you know direct you to that video but anyway i'm um, back to the video all right so that's it so that was on my oil day so moisturizing my hair while oiling my scalp that's it for that so um yeah so that's at night time okay like i said in the morning time i just spray this and go or whatever spray i pick up and go if not that's fine i know i have to do it at night okay so i try to moisturize my hair every night or twice a day whenever i feel as need be okay the next thing i do is um on moisturization while without oil on my scalp so the nights that I do not use oil I will use um, I will just use a spritzer sometimes I just spray my hair and I'm done you know depending upon whatever it doesn't matter but tonight I decided to use a concoction that I made up and I got this from black is beautiful I did not use the same exact ingredient she did but um, if you're not familiar with her, she's a well-known YouTuber, blogger. She has her own website, things of that nature. Definitely go check her out. I'll definitely put her um, the link to her video below in my description bar so you guys can check out and see what I'm talking about. So she had the singly twist in her hair, and she used a concoction. And the concoction she used was water, I think coconut oil, and some other oil. And she used Shea Moisture, um, uh, Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner, um, yeah, conditioner. And so with my concoction, I used warm water as well. She used warm water. And I used um, the Shea Moisture as well. But I used the Brahmi Amla oil. Okay. And I also use vitamin E oil. I use Brahmi Amla oil because um, I do that with my hot oil treatments. And I have not used it in a week. And I know my hair is like, what happened? You know, so I was like, let me put this back in my hair. So that's why I decided to mix it with that oil. And I put vitamin E oil to preserve it a little bit. Because you do not want want to um you know use this over two weeks because you know 
um, things can go bad and you do not want it to go bad and also when you are making a concoction make sure you make it to how much you will use it so if you use this every day that's fine this is gonna be gone and probably about a week and a half or maybe less than a week I'm not sure but I will if you use this every day then you're fine but if you use it you know slowly you know after a while you're gonna have to pour it out so you don't want to waste product so make sure you make enough product to what you are going to use okay so to use that as a tip um, and that's what she said as well because you know things go bad and you do not want to put bad things on your hair and why your hair is in prote protective style which is no bueno okay so that's basically it about that and also um that's it that's that's what i use that's what i moisturize my hair without oil i don't use uh, that's it i don't use i just use this i started using this tonight so this so before i started using this i've been using this spray and that's it you know i just spray my hair massage my hair and go to bed and i'm done um and that's it simple as that you know it doesn't take that much to do okay and that's basically it about that so um and i forgot to mention about the oil when um i heat up the oil and i've got that from brandy i was like let me just heat it up she heated up so i was like yeah you know why not you know I ha i'm not getting a hot oil treatment in a while so i was like this will be f this will kind of feel like you know a mimic a hot oil treatment so put this in warm water definitely 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 try not to microwave your oils because you know maybe the the rays and stuff like that could probably break down the oil you know the nature of the oil and you don't want that and i've done that before and so i, I stopped doing that because i was like what am i doing i could just reg get regular water and it'll do the same justice so uh, my water here in my house gets very hot so i could definitely use that water some people use boiling water but just to be a little bit safer i use the regular hot water but the microwave is definitely probably not a good way to go like i said before the rays can probably you know you know make the oil kind of not be effective as it should be on your hair so just keep that in mind while you are using your oil if you decide to warm it up okay so that's just a little tip there um and i know i will be washing my hair in the next two or three weeks so um that's basically it about that um as far as the sprays there the spray does not cause buildup. um i'm just using light things i'm just tweaking my regimen a little bit and not doing as much as i do on my loose hair because my hair is not out so i'm not taking things all the way out but just a little bit out um so that's basically it about that so i don't i'm not afraid of build up or what have you because like i said before i don't want to when i when that day comes to take my twist out I don't want to be sitting in front of the camera like, oh my god, damn, my god. I don't have time for that. <laughs> so, um, don't want any setbacks or anything like that. I'm not afraid of over moisture or anything like that because my hair does get dry, you guys. And you guys know, if you've seen my hair, my past videos, you guys know all about it. So, um, I'm not afraid about that either. So, I, I'm just happy that, you know, my hair is going to moisturize. I don't know what the other strands are doing. And also make sure when you do, when you get the scalp, as you guys see me getting the scalp, make sure you get the strands of your hair, get the strands of the twist or box braids or whatever you have in your hair as well. Especially if your because hair, your hair is long. intertwined and the extensions, you need to get that as well because the, that hair needs, you know, that's the oldest part of your hair. So that needs nourishment as well. So definitely get that. And that's what I was doing in the video, trying to go down you know the twist to get that as well because you you know you want to focus on the scalp you know a lot but you don't need to forget about those ends even though you can't really seal them you can try to seal them with this or whatever whatever you have okay and this is also a good alternative if you cannot get to a store to get a refresher spray or to you know try to you know whatever you can make your up your own concoction you do not have to use the oil that i use you can use evo evco um you can use um you know whatever oil that you have laying around the house go in your kitchen and just start looking and do it you know you don't even have to put conditioner you can use probably just water and oil whatever that whatever works for your hair you are the only one that knows your hair best than anybody else okay so you know do what you have to do and as long as you you know moisturize your hair and you know you take care of your hair that's protected okay do not neglect your hair unless there's some type of big emergency and you cannot or if you know anything but you know if you had time on your hands or if you're just sitting there you know like i don't know just pick up a spray bottle and just start spraying <laughs> so you know you you know that's basically about that so that's all i can say this is what works for my hair and i really appreciate um my subscriber that has um 
requested this video i also was going to do this video but i really appreciate her for um requesting this video and um i'm glad she did i'm sorry for running off at the mouth but i just wanted to get all of this out to you guys and let you guys know in depth of what i do to my hair if i forgot anything i'll definitely annotate in the video i feel as though i'm forgetting something but i don't think so if i am you guys know i'm good for annotating in the video and then you guys know specifically what i do or what i do not do but that's basically it you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this has helped my subscriber that has asked or requested this video and i hope this has helped others as well um if you have a protective style in your hair just make sure you moisturize your hair um take care of the hair that you have that's in your protective style so i'll see you guys in the next video if you have any questions comments or concerns please don't hesitate to ask if you don't want to ask in the comments below you can definitely ask my inbox and i'll definitely reply back to you okay thank you guys for watching 